this is the public access committee meeting for July 8th. It is. 2019. That is correct. Reschedule from July 1st. First, I have to introduce that. Cool. Is it wise to do this on camera? Thumb drives. Thumb drives. <laughs> Never pick up a thumb drive at a hackers conference. Never. <laughs> All right. If you want to recognize it. Oh, that one I'm just giving to you. So you have extra. Thank you. Yeah. Are you an ardent thumb drive collector then? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. ah, welcome, everybody. Um, so I guess we'll call it to order. It's uh, just a little before quarter past. Um, so first thing on the agenda we have tonight. Um, is, well, I guess, I guess we'll sort of mention who sent apologies. I did receive apologies from uh, the town liaison, Dan, um, who's uh, got a scheduling conflict tonight and let me know he can't make it. Um, and I wasn't expecting our new village liaison, Alex, to be here because I had communicated. Uh, she was copied in an email I wrote to Tim, and uh, we'll, we'll talk about that a bit later. Item four, I guess it would be. But she got in touch with me and, and said um, she'd very much like me to spend some time, if I could, to bring her up to speed with all that's going on with a public access um, setup at the moment. And um, But she's not likely to be available at all this week and probably won't be until Saturday the 13th because I guess, I don't know whether she's away. She didn't actually reply to the email I sent back to her so as yet. So it's quite likely she's away. So I wasn't expecting her to be here. Are you planning to meet with her uh, um, before our next meeting? I, I would think so. I, I think that's probably a good idea. Um, it's, you know, just as a courtesy to really bring her up to speed where, mm -hmm. where, where we're at. Um, I, I, I did mention in the, the, in the email which I responded to when she reached out to me that, um, that if she was here tonight, then we could have devoted um, item three, I did put it on the agenda to actually bring her up to speed, welcoming her and bring her up to speed, but if she's not here, we'll, we'll just delete item three from the, from the agenda. Um, so why don't we make a start with item one? Okay. We all got a copy of it. Item one is the minute, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. That would be. Oh, yeah. Approving okay. from last meeting. Everybody's got a copy in front of them, we should have. Anything you want to bring up? Do you, I have an extra copy. Oh, oh you, well, we don't need it. Okay. No, I just wanted to know, am I, is Robert Gertler, Robert Gertler, or is it somebody else? Gertler. Oh, Gertler. okay. Well, okay, so that, I don't know why. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, I spelled uh, his name right. Gertler, as in, you know. Yes, that's, uh, that's correct. Right guy. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Cangelosi family, Gertler? Mm -hmm. family? Okay. Um, and uh, my other question was, oh, we, there was, I had some little note about this thing called um, sh shooting people. Shooting people, they're, which they're, is really cool. I looked at the website. Yeah, they're, they're, they may be based in the UK where they it started out. But yeah, it is, it is UK. It, is, it, is, it does cover the whole, um, the whole world. But it seemed now. very UK centric. You can, you can search. If, if you, <laughs> you can, I'll tell you one thing, don't search shooting people in the U.S. Yeah, exactly. It's all... <laughs> I mean, search the shooting people website. Yes. <laughs> they also have an email list which you can subscribe to, uh, which is localized to the area. It might be okay, so it it's not over. strictly... It's not... No, it's, st UK. it's certainly that's where it started out. Okay, so I just yeah, might make probably, a little... Oh, add another sentence You probably on. couldn't get away with the name shooting people. <laughs> but it is people who shoot. But not guns, it's cameras <laughs> and stuff, you know. But so uh, it looked like there was a membership fee of really? 10 oh. pounds a month. Really? That's or news. I, let me, I'll look at that again, uh, okay. but maybe they have a non-profit, you know, membership or whatever. And, uh, you know, it would be ideal if people want to get some of their work shown mm -hmm. and stuff. That would be great material for 2023. Let's, let's look. He's going there. All right, those were my questions. Is there anything else or is it all? Uh, it's been a while since I've looked at it. I was no longer a liaison on, the June, on June 3rd. I was out of office at that point. Just looking at the minutes. Uh, uh, no, you, when, when, when... I mean, it would make sense, right? It's the end of May and the new fiscal year starts June. I didn't think they got sworn June in until 4th. the first 
Wednesday. It's not important. All right. Okay. Uh, I'll just say absent village liaison. I'll take your name. Whatever. Out. Okay. <laughs> TBA. Yeah, uh, I get a. T it's twenty pounds yearly. That's like five hundred dollars, right? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Like 11, uh, 11 20 pounds, pounds yearly. Like $10. 20 $30. pounds a year is or 11 nothing. pounds monthly. That's a big <laughs> discount. That's a discount. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Right. So that's. Okay. Yeah. Well, well I, I'll spend some time with it when I, when I get myself planned in a, in a future life, perhaps. Um, but it's, it's, it's interesting for uh, getting in touch. So, yeah. Great job on the minutes. I, I no no issues from me at all. Okay, good. Anybody got anything? No, this is all. So, I uh, move we all approve right, them. Okay. All in favour? All right. Yeah. All right. Done. Okay. All right then. Uh, over to you. P. A. Coordinator's report. Um, and I, I printed your pictures out. Look, you you remove mess. 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 No yes. mess. No no mess. Yes. Very well no done. Mess. No mas, no mas, no Yeah, and I dusted and vacuumed. Good man. <laughs> Did you spray some new car scent in there? <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, I, I decided to put the computer on the rack because it was much sturdier. Right. And took away the weight, so the table will now handle a, a really light monitor and a keyboard and a mouse. And uh, also. My back isn't strained anymore because this is a desk height. So Ideal. Yeah. Ideal. So you, you don't you don't have to be a crouched down leprechaun to operate the system anymore. Yeah. The the hum uh, we're we've tried different things and just now we've tried a few other trying to um, isolate what the hum is about, but we just didn't have enough time and no new year starting. So uh, understood. The, um, the problem is the hum only comes like. Every three or five minutes, it'll come for like ten seconds. It's like really weird. It's it could be a failing capacitor, man. And yeah, on a power supply of something that's connected to it. You, but if it's the nexus, what else is there? No, it, it happens without the. It's if it that's not powered the, on. Yeah, it's even when it's not connected to the nexus. Well, we can talk about this. Right, yeah. yeah. I'm happy to, um, l let me know when's some good time with you. I've got, I could, I'll, and I'll, I'll bring my desk and my, my little soundboard or whatever uh -huh. you call it, and we'll, uh, I'm quite happy to try and do a bit of troubleshooting with you. I appreciate that. Not, not a problem. Um, other thing uh, before I go into productions was, um, we've, I, through the grapevine, I've heard the town, town board is moving First of all, the town board is moving from the courthouse back to community center for the summer. I don't know if it's permanent or not, but hmm. there's also no. there's also been some information saying that once the courthouse and the police move, um, that the town planning and um, some of the departments might move to the courthouse and fire department. Begs the question: Is there is a room there for public access? So yeah, but the, the police and the, the, the they have to build the building. First. I know that's a couple of years. Like I don't even think they've like broken they ground. They're going to build, they're gonna build, no, they're gonna build the building. They're going to build the new fire, fire, de fire department. Next yeah. to the fire department, they're yeah. going to build a building. Next to the police department. Yeah, but oh, you yeah. think they bought a building that's already there? I believe they bought a building by the yeah. first state squad. Yeah, they did. Oh, they I bought see. a building, but oh, it has to be renovated. Oh, on that side of the street. Yeah, and what the latest I heard when I was still on the board is the discussion was of the folks who are downstairs, the building department, moving into this space up here, and town moving into what is downstairs, where the clerk's office is, and where okay. you pay your. Right. So. Um, and the fire department won't be there. And right. the courthouse. No, won't the be police. There. Right, the courthouse will be in a good place. Yeah. Fire department will be at the new firehouse they're building by Henry Dunn. Oh, they won't have any firehouse here on the wall? Fire no. department up there and up on Mountain Rest Road. Oh, okay. On both sides of the river. So the big garage is empty. So 
Um, it might make sense to approach the town and see if they could remember us when they're allocating space in this building. Um, <laughs> they'll give us that. <laughs> <laughs> so the place we want. <laughs> we'll uh, okay. Well, let, let's just finish up before we get onto the. We get. We've got a okay. bit. Of, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. So, finish up on your. Um, okay. Your so bit. that was uh, not included in this report. Uh, right. Also, um, okay. Then we can go to productions. Uh, we have Slice of Newport, um, Denison Theater, um, Part Two, I guess, 2019. Well, just an update. Uh, yeah. Get mm -hmm. Another first year in the coming year. And Don's also produced 15 music vault shows, which we know how to yeah. <laughs> count them already. <laughs> and I put up four Iron New Pulse from the 80s and 90s. And I contacted Susan Hamovich again. No answer? No answer. Mm, okay. Wasn't it Allison for Do you? I, I, I know, yeah. I mean, I, I know. Do you want to see her frequently? Well, I just wonder if we could ask her if she would be interested in showing didn't, the show. Didn't she send a note? That was Susan Hamovich. Oh, maybe I, I looked No, you, got, you had several Wait, people contact us. Let's see. It's in the minute. Oh, excellent. Some point. Maybe I'm uh, asking the wrong person. Then but I thought I just I just replied. Short film uh, Allison yeah. sounds like the right name somehow. I remember. Um, Maybe I looked at the wrong email. <laughs> asking the wrong person the wrong question. No, I replied to the email, <laughs> so uh, I know it's. Uh, I'm Allison just saying, Ferrara. Uh, reached out about submitting programming for Channel 23. She's the one who produced New Pulse Shorts. Yeah. But she also asked if we had a studio space. Well, um, we're working on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, yeah, she was the one who needed equipment. Oh, needed equipment. Well, can't you just, like, give us a copy of the New Pulse Shorts? Permission or just to sign the thing, but... Is that Allison who does that? Yeah. Produce new pull shorts. That's what it says. I mean, that's what I. Well, that's what my notes said. I don't know who she is. So. Okay, let me go back to my yeah, she produced email. Produced music videos at a, a band that I have in the house, so uh, I might be able to. And then there was Richard Jimbos, a musician and video producer. Yeah, he expressed um, some interest. He said uh, he has to wait until the uh, school session starts again. Because mm. he sort of works oh. with Waldorf School. Mm -hmm. Kind of caught him at the end of the year. So that's that's about. Oh, also, I'm working with Phoenix Kanamoto to produce some more community and public interest for the for the youth center. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're talking uh, to complex that has the golf course uh, upstairs on 9 and Garvin to do a slice of new pulse on that complex and uh, be talking to women's activist Barbara Tufton who organized the uh, women's march cool. and many other things women in black cool uh, that that would be that would be a good program uh, did um, you think about doing the solar farm the alternative yeah we just thing? talked about that yeah. and, and it's, it's the first day back to work today so I, right. I haven't moved on Mm. Power. Power. Yes. Can I make a suggestion for slice of new parts? Mm -hmm. What about the water situation? The uh, the you know our water reprocessing facility and some of the the grief and because you're well placed to be able to tell people about. Yeah, I, I kind of stayed away from uh, issues involving the village while I was involved with the village. You know, but but you can now. Yep. Yep. And I think that's something that you know um, would be a very interesting program, definitely. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely help you out. Okay. Yeah. Um, anything else? No, nope, that's it. Good job. Excellent. Um, so we can delete item three uh, as Alex isn't with us this evening. Um, so uh, I mean, we can bid her welcome in the minutes, but that, that's about it, really.
Um, so, uh, you will find also in your little bit of information packet is the email I wrote out to, um, to Tim Rogers uh, asking about when the space would be available and who our new liaison was. Um, and he replied back, as you can read, um, that they've been buried here at Village Hall or audit season and much more. Our clerks need to get out of the office because the ceiling is falling. There are buckets in the corner. Alberta has been working on purging lots of documents that have piled up for decades in various offices here. She's trying to get this done to see what we have office space, uh, office and space-wise. We'll know more after this audit is done. We're also trying to work with the town to see about getting them out of rented trailers. We're also seeing if we get a response back from MHREDC, REAR DRI grant, and about renovating this building. Making space for public access will be a large undertaking that will require significant patience. Sorry, we will not be able to come up with office space for public access in the near future. There are just too many things going on here. So um, the mayor giveth and the mayor taketh away, it would appear. The offer of the space would appear now not to be the case. And I, would, I guess my own perception um, was that it was kind of a quid pro quo. Um, I think the email opened up, how would you feel, feel about office space? And would you become a 301? 5013C, mm -hmm. and I don't know, you know, they seem to be, it's hard to have a non-profit if you don't have a home. We have an address, that's good, mm -hmm. but I think that was a big part of the, the plan forward. Well, you, you can't get volunteers to come and actually do anything unless you've got something for them to do in a, an organization that, you know, works. I mean, again, we've got, we've got you know, um, running into item four, uh, which is discussing the vacancy on PATV committee. We would love it if, if you would care to approach the town. Yeah, I just approached the wrong body, thanks for the email to the village. Because I think you would be a marvelous asset, especially especially in the, the political, I don't do politics, you might <laughs> call the spade a shovel. Where, where do you mean by near future? Yeah, well, you know, do you think if, that if means that don't hold your breath, like does rescind, it? Rescinding of the. I, I, do you think I should just hit him happen. straight backwards? So, do I take it this is a. Res, a re, what's the word? Recession? Rescind? Rejection? Uh, uh, res, what's the present Indian tense ever? of rescind? Yeah. Rescind. <laughs> I will look it Rescindance. up. Rescindance. <laughs> but I'm not sure of that. I don't know. Rescindance. I would say, could we have a clarification on what you mean by near future? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, so yeah, I'll, 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 I'll write to him and ask him, that, is, is that this, are you receiving your re offer of space at this point? Yeah. And ask for that clarification. Because, you know, um, it's, it's like we're stuck in this infinite flaming holding. No, I, say, I mean, it, it, the wording to me might be, uh, I would assume that space won't, will be unavailable indefinitely. Um, sorry, we will not be able to come up with office space for public access in the near future. So near future could be any term from one week to ten years would be classed, I suppose. Depending on what your time frame of near future means. So I would ask for a clarification on that. I mean, I think it's contingent on everything else he's listed here, which is that you know, they have a problem with a ceiling and they're waiting to hear if they get, we get the DRI grant and, you know, for, to renovate this building and that they're trying to help get the town out of the rented trailers. So. Well, I, I know the master plan is to have one municipal center and that kind of makes some sense, you know. Um, where that will be, who knows? I mean, this is a piece of valuable yeah, real estate. I don't know when that grant, when we would hear about the grant. By the time all these are sorted out, there will be a new pile of things. So, so if we're reading that until all these issues are resolved, we're just like, no, nah, there's no space. Then I think that I would take as there's no space. But I guess what I'm saying is, I'm not clear if he's actually saying. Really? I, I would want to, I would want, I, I mean, there's no question but that we're like on the back burner and, uh, yeah. and 
I, I think that's absolutely. Or should we take it that way? Because, <coughs> but because at, at a certain point, like if we need the studio space, well, we we for can't all of these things to work. <laughs> we kind of do. Then we. Then what are we doing here? We, I mean, we might need. Uh, I guess are we going to do that again? No, the whole presentation of what are we doing? Well. What are we doing? I mean, we, we, we had a roadmap. Um, there was an offer of space, and now it would appear that that offer of space. But I mean, realistically, we need both the town and village liaisons here, because if their plan is to make something that works and works well for everybody, um, provides what they want to provide in terms of um, you know, uh, public transparency for public access, but the government side of things is just one aspect of it. There's the whole educational and public access as well. So, so yeah, um, I, I, when people aren't paying attention, it's quite easy to shove things through, you know? And I, I think that the public access side of things is the bit that guarantees the transparency. I mean, it's, it's what brought Andrea here in the first place, you know, when she went and shoved the camera in somebody's face. Well, it's what, I mean, it's certainly what well, brought the same thing with the planning board. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Kevin, I interrupted. That notion brought, uh, no you didn't, um, but that, that notion was what brought me here too. Right. I guess. That, I'm, not sure that that that's, I'm not sure that that's what the boards are interested in and I think that's what you get a clear. Right, I'm, I'm pretty now. sure that that's not what the boards per se are interested in, but the, they, they do receive a significant amount of money at this present moment in time on the back of the, the um, yes. yeah, the franchise fee. Um, and so the, there is, a, <coughs> it's, it's far more people watch public access than, than we realize. Um, it is not, yeah, yeah. when we last did the, the exercise of the, um, the subscriber numbers, and they're not falling off at the rate that, that people would have you believe that, you know, certainly when people say, you know, it's dead, does anybody have a television anymore? I, I mean, you look at the number of them flying out of Sam's Club or whatever, they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. So yeah, people still do television. I guess my questions are just to express a bit of frustration. I, 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 I completely uh, concur. And I feel you paid in exactly the same way. And I feel that, I don't know, we, we um, uh, Don, Don in his role um, as, as liaison with the village was, was a, a thorn, to be perfectly honest, in the, in the sight of some people. Um, but, but at least we got, you know, heard. Um, uh, I have to say, I, I'm not. I would obviously, you know, not not um, read between lines here. I um, mean, you know, I would love Alex to speak for herself, but uh, my understanding was similar to yours that um, Alex has not necessarily ever shown a particularly pro PA TV kind of stance. Um, Do you think it makes sense when you meet with her that you go back over the? presentation you made to the board. If you think that's something I should do, yeah, I, I should definitely go back will. And look at I, it, I, I, I mean, certainly she wasn't on the board then. So right, right. She didn't yeah. hear it. I think it's it's something, you know, that, that um, it, I would want to 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 have her on our side. Um, to realise that we're here to help make things better for for her and, and for the for the village administration, that we're not here to cause problems or difficulty. We're here to to make things better, to to try and, and and we've done some good things, you know, in in with with what total lack of resources and, and time and, and labour that we've got, we've achieved some good things so far, you know. So I don't know. You I'd know like what? to know where we're at with the streaming. Like, is it is it, you know, I mean, the goal was I thought one of the goal was to have the. You know, we were going to get it set up, but they were going to be able to just press buttons and have right. it go. Uh, I, I mean, that again is something that um, I, I really want to touch base on with them. I mean, the, I've, I've hit a bit of a roadblock in that. I mean, I've got the infrastructure of the app basically done. The problem is that Apple have recently changed due to further privacy regulations the ability to payload a VPN in, a, in an app, which, and there's a VPN you have to log on here to get that. So there are other ways of doing it if we could get um, a publicly accessible domain with certificates um, to, to do that, then the, the, we could make it work. But I've, I've got a bit of a technical roadblock and unfortunately, I mean, I'll take it on the chin. I've been way too busy to, to pursue that to the ends of the earth. 
um, because it, it does need a bit more serious work on it. It's not, it's not the easy button press that I thought it was going to be. So how is it working? Is it working? Uh, you can stream right now, yeah. You absolutely can. You we've, have had, we've had issues with bandwidth, though. Yeah. Yes, I understand that. I remember that. Okay. But is it um, involving either of you? If at, at this moment yes. in time, it is. Yeah. I mean, you can't stream the meetings right now. That's not a solution. No, that's, I'm yes, asking, we can. That's what I'm Live asking. stream? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just village people. Right. Oh, okay. You so can technically, you ought to be able to do a town meeting from the courthouse as well. That, that. Okay, so when the village board meeting begins, do they have to contact one of you to get it up and running, or can they press buttons and have there, it work? There is, there is at, at the moment, no facility other than, than either Bob or I dropping on the VPN and actually enabling the stream. Okay. So it's, it's live streaming, but then it takes a while for it if you don't want to watch it. Uh, no, it's it's the live stream, but you can stream, you can do. scroll back twenty minutes into the live stream if you pick right. it up later. You, if you yeah. join the live stream, you're going to come on at the point where it's live. When the stream is finished, it's actually archived there, and you can watch it again and again. And right, again. so it's posted right away. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's and what I was wondering is if I don't if I didn't see that in the meeting that I had to do it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, all the town meetings. Are oh, yeah, they're not yeah. live. Uh, right, well, live no, yeah, yeah. The, the one you spoke right. at, yeah. So, um, yes, so are you just doing that remotely? Mm -hmm. Okay. See, if, if they, um, there, there's like four or five different ways to go at this moment in time. And it depends on uh, the path of least resistance and if there's any budget available. If there's budget available, if that, um, the, um, the Epifan device they've got could be updated and they do offer a very favorable trade-in device now because it's no longer called the DVI VGA recorder or whatever, it's now called the Epifan streaming device or something. And streaming works with a button press on it. It's exactly the same damn device is the unfortunate thing. They've just put a blue case on it instead of a black one. And they could, in theory, flash the firmware back to, to that because it appears to be exactly the same specs, but well, they won't. Since the town, I, I believe, already has budgeted to replace that piece of equipment. No, the, na the Nexus, Nexus. Not, the, not the Epifan. The, the okay. All broadcast servers now that you can buy, including later versions, Nexus, also have a built a built in streaming uh -huh. ability. Okay. It's so very hard to, to buy anything without streaming because everybody realizes or oh, everybody wants to stream. Well the reason I asked that question, could the case be made since the funds are already budgeted and it would now enable one touch streaming to make the case of the town board that it's time to replace the Lexus with the new the newer version since you already have it budgeted, then it would make that service and public access so much better. It would still require that would just be for the town only. Sorry. At this point, it can only be for the town only because the Nexus is located in the town. Gotcha. Okay. Well, they're the ones that have budgeted the money. Mm hmm. I thought. So, anyway, so the other options for the village there's to upgrade the Epifan. Well, if we're going to centralize everything to, to bring the Nexus into the studio space, was the thing, and provide some kind of you know link to wherever the remote location is to. To that studio space and if there's fiber to both places it's really simple to do um, which there is fiber to there's fiber to the community center and there's fiber here but that would require um, the fiber modems being provisioned which we don't have yet we've only got a all we've got is a modulator which is the one side of it the send bit you need, you need to both ends But if the fiber link is physically there, and and you can, you know, you, you could do it. It is doable. I mean, that's how the studios are connected. Now. So to upgrade the Epifan, how much does that cost? About fifteen hundred bucks. That's all. Yeah. And then that's something they paid that paid a hell of a lot of money for it. It was it was like three thousand. It's half the price now. 
So that would enable them to, I mean, once you get it running Yeah, all, pick, when they, they push that to, big red button right. and it flashes, yeah, then it and starts stay. recording, at that time you can, you can now. I, I just let me double confirm that before we put okay. this. Okay. Let me let me just make sure or not. I will give you. Let me make a note there. Um, tech specs a new streaming server because if that could be switched out and they will do a trade in on it, um, then that would be the ideal thing. You still have the remote access if we need to get in from from a board. I mean, there's still going to be troubleshooting and all that stuff <laughs> that, like, they're not going to well, be Well, someone's going to have to change the name of the recording, or it could just be, this is where you see Village Movies live stream. Yeah, and, and, then, have a title. and then you have um, to re-title re it the archives right. later, yeah. to whoever's managing that. Because, you know, you still want to go in the right place. You have different playlists. So there would be a playlist for planning boards, a playlist for ZBA, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I, I mean, I'm just thinking that at some point, I think the village is going to come back and say, okay, where are we at with this? We have been hoping you guys could get the streaming up and running. Well, yeah. we've, we've been, we've, we were ready to, to move the nexus here was the plan. Yeah. And the idea was that, you know, they were looking to do what they could so we've got better connectivity for streaming. Right. Um, Tim wrote to me and asked about um, like a, a cellular, bu a bundled cellular system or a, a bonded cellular system, um, which looked like it got great speeds and they were gonna let them try it. I never, he never got back to me on, on um, with a response on what they were doing there. Mm. Um, but you know, you need good upstream, but we've used successfully my i've got a little um video pro uh, which is just an on-camera streaming uh device and it with the um, share link service you can stream simultaneously to uh, mul multiple locations i think three is standard but you can add up to five if you want to so you can go to facebook and, and youtube simultaneously with it or multiple um, youtube channels you wanted to on multiple Facebook pages. And that was on the, the wireless network, right? Yeah, and yeah. we tried, we couldn't make it work on the wireless network, so every time we used it, we had to use my phone cellular connection to the screen. Right. But it's worked, it's worked fine. So, you know, the, the really nice book you put together about live streaming, you. right? I mean, it probably could have an update done. It could be, yeah. We could, we could, we could do yeah. that. I mean, there was there was a th that was put together with the idea that they would just wanted to kick Channel Twenty Three into touch, which is where I was coming at it from. For in other words, they dropping support for the the public access coordinator, and they were just going to go with this um, box cast thing, if I remember rightly. Which of course, you know, some somebody made the most incredible sales pitch, but she doesn't she doesn't work here anymore. <laughs> but yeah. It was it was special. Um, that wouldn't have done it. You you still you still got to capture the, the the video and audio in the first place. You know, um, just having a box to take it out to stream is is the the easy bit of the equation, really. I mean, I just think that this was something that they wanted. Yeah. To have well, the happen. town the town have expressed that as well. I mean, right. it would but be I mean, really we, nice we to haven't have even been able to get it done in the village, so. Well, and it may be an equipment problem. It may be a, you know, bandwidth issue. It could be. It's a uh, Wi-Fi. It's hugely low on the totem security. pole. Is the is the thing? I mean, you know, if you if you really want to do something, you find a way. If you don't, you find an excuse. That's my experience with things. Yeah, but I don't think we ever laid out and said, "These are your options. This is what this will cost. This is what this will cost. Do you want us to help you do either one, any one of these?" We, we Besides working with what they've got, right? But yeah. te tell us what you want us to do is is what I've I've asked time and time. What do you want? Tell us specifically what you want. I, people keep asking, and Tim keeps saying it. So what are you guys going to do for us? What do you want? Mm. What do you, if you clarify what it is you want, and then we can get a roadmap to get there. If you don't know what you want, how the hell are we going to deliver it? I thought they pretty clearly said they wanted the meetings live streamed, and they wanted. The, you know, they didn't want 
it to be very labor intensive on our part, if at all possible. But automated solutions seldom work unless yeah. unless you've built in massive redundancy. There, there has to be a person who owns it. Got to be. Yeah. No. I mean, I totally agree. There has to be someone in charge, knows what they're doing, is is responsible, is you know paid to do the work, and um, you know is there to troubleshoot and. It could be a village employee. It could be you know, yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's my, it doesn't have to be the corporation. Well, I think it's accurate to. I think my my interpretation also is that there is a desire for high quality, low labor streaming of all meetings. I think that you know that's something that. that we well, ain't going to get high quality and you change that camera. <coughs> well, yeah, I think told us that. I think if we were <laughs> to, and it's not we because I'm not on, on the on this body yet, but if we were to. Uh, approach the village board and say, you know, we're setting our goals for the year. Is this the goal that you want us to have, to have live streaming and high quality? Of the if so, here's what would need to happen and here's what it would cost. Do you want us to pursue this avenue? No. And that way it would, they would say yes, and we have a mission for the year and a goal, and we could say we achieved our goal or didn't because you did or did not fund us. And when, but actually, just to, to step back, why not just say, here, is this a goal that you want us to pursue? And if so, then we'll pursue all the viable yeah. options in terms of budget, because that represents work too. And then yeah, well I think the, the real thing is to tease out of them what it is they want. Right. Here's what we think you want, yes or no. Right, yeah. or are you, satisfied with what's, are you satisfied with what's going on right now, which is labor intensive, and you're just gonna have to continue to pay, you know, someone. Do this. Well, I mean, in the ideal world, um, and yeah, if, if we could say what does good look like, you know, in, in the, the absolute ideal scenario, would the public access uh, Channel 23 organization would be somewhat like Denver has, or, or you know, which, which even puts Saudis to shame. That, you know, people come along. They, they don't just live stream a meeting, they, they broadcast it as well to, to channel whatever channel it is they're on. But yeah, it can be live streamed exactly the same thing. The main thing is the content production. And they do a multiple camera shoot, they've got somebody working a, a video switcher, somebody writing subtitles. They're also indexed with the metadata of the, the agenda and put chapter markers in there so you can, when you go back on, online to, um, to look at it at a later date, you want to find out, you know, this item on a planning application, bam, you can go straight to that part of the meeting. So I think it would it's be like great to describe that. Well, that's just what it looks like. what you were just saying. Describe that, especially yeah. the, the metadata thing, because to me, that seems like what's missing. And it's actually what, it's one of the parts of what inspired me to be here in the first place eons ago, which was that I think that trying to get information about what's going on in the town and the, and the village uh, in terms of figuring out why is it this way? And then you can look, you can, if, even if you, like if you attend the town board meetings, you'll probably have a pretty good sense. But if you don't, trying to get to the relevant part of any meeting is almost impossible. Trying to get the, rel the relevant information for why something is the way it is very difficult and the metadata like that like you say like if this if all this information was somehow in the mm -hmm. available to look at lined up with the, well, the video so that actual research could be done to say here's where this thing that is pretty much the way things are started and then we can say and then this decision was made at this meeting and this mm -hmm. does See, anybody care enough to do that I don't like some of it's you know transcriptions are automated. You can search transcriptions, but right. it's gotten a lot still better. still have to organize it. Well, the point that I'm trying to make is, I would like to see that. Hmm. Does the town board and the village board care? Not not whether I would like to see that, but would they care about us actually pursuing that as a goal, and then to lay out what it would cost achieve that goal and you know well, submit it in other words I, I kind of want to 
go more or less as a supplicant and say, as you were, what do you want us to do? Here's what we suggest you might want us to do. Please give us a model to go forward. You know, here's what we'll possible. give you the budget, and then we'll and then we'll say at the meeting they didn't approve it, and that's why we don't have that. It's there. There has to be. I mean, this is too much work and too technical for for a village employee to do. To be honest, I mean, this is somebody. This is this is a you know station management level. This is mm -hmm. this is what goes on. Now, um, Lighthouse and uh, Denver, whatever the name is, and I, I forget, and forgive me, but um, they do that. They have a, a, a proper station manager. They have, you know, this is their, their goals. This is what they are doing. Part of it is public, yeah? Part of it is government, and the government side of things is that accessibility. That's what is public access, yeah? Mm -hmm. The public have got access to, and it's transparent. They can, they can go, they can sniff this out, they can find everything that's relevant to it, they can look at any fields, and you know, if you spend some time hunting through you know, the website, it's there, and, and people want to do that. How can you compare New Village, well, or Denver, even the right? town, to Denver? Sorgaty. Well, no, but Sorgat is, yeah. But you know, what, what, if you are trying to make something the best it possibly can be, you, you look at what is the gold standard, don't you? Yeah. You don't, you don't, you don't go, well, these people are, are slightly better than worst, so we should, we should try and emulate them. But that was the point I'm trying to make is that we should get some kind of a, we should get some kind of affirmative sense that they want us to do this or they don't, and then actually go on record that they'll never be able to search and figure out why no one knows what the hell is going on with the government because they can't figure out what's going on. But again, this this would be <laughs> part of the the remit of of whatever we decided we were going to call it NPZ TV for argument's sake. That would be part of the remit to, to make this happen. And yeah, it's not without expense, you know. Maybe you're not paying one individual anymore, but you're, you're now paying an organization and will take on this service for you. And that organization will need, in, in my mind, at least one paid employee uh, who would be the station manager, because the buck has to stop somewhere, you know. If uh, I, I understand, you know, people have a lot of reticence when it's, if everything is a total volunteer organization, um, you know, well, we can't make it tonight. And, and it, but there, there has to be some kind of responsibility. You know, this, the show has to go on. The, the broadcast has to go. And somebody has to be responsible to either do it themselves at the drop of a hat or call somebody up, say, you come in here. You know, no, you can't go. I need you for this. Manage it, you know? So... What you brought up, Dawn, about the nexus, I mean, maybe we should look into how um, how advanced a programming machine you can get these days. Oh, off the charts. Yeah, yeah I mean, this is the thing that we have right now is an absolute dinosaur compared to, to stuff that's uh, an awful lot I mean, they, they have an upgrade, but Electronics has an upgrade that does streaming, but uh, getting back to the issue of standard definition, the high definition, oh, it's well, like right. you're buying something that's going to be okay for streaming, but it's, it's you, overkill for... Yeah, you can tr they're going to transcode it right. anyway, because they, they will transcode it. Spectrum will transcode it. If, if we, they, they, they take an, an SD signal right now and they transcode it to HD. Yeah. So I, I'm just, you well, know, the idea of involving the town, though, because they have a bigger budget. <laughs> um, you know, if they're interested in streaming, I mean, maybe that would be the way to go for them, and then we would get a better nexus out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a budget for it. I, I can, mean, if, um, if it would make sense that that would be the most cost-effective way to stream town meetings, which we don't even know where they're all going to be, but... Yeah, they have to be in one location. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's... that's I mean, kind of all of this could be very exciting if there really is money to renovate the building for a joint municipal center. I mean, then, you know... Then you put the infrastructure in. Then you put the fiber, you make sure there's fiber, and I mean... Fiber and a yeah. new studio. I mean, yeah. you still have to deal with the limits of the TV station, but... 
you know, yeah, you, you could work most in... Of, most of your office then, most of your audience will go for, um, you know, content delivered by another way. And one of the things that I would like to see happen is that, that there's the, um, a, what do you call it, a Roku and an Apple TV app for, for NBC mm -hmm. TV. So, so you can you can watch it on your your big stream TV through the whatever streaming services that you've got. So even if you don't subscribe, you can watch Channel Twenty Three, and you you can geographically limit that, I believe, as well. So in other words, you can only if you want to watch it out of area, then you can you can you would do it by subscription. But you can make it if you are within the geographical area of New Paltz, you could watch it for free. You could do that. But um, I mean, these this this so much can be done, but but we just you know we just get together and we talk about stuff and and we're we're frustrated <laughs> in moving well, forward. Maybe we should find out when we're going to hear about the grant application. I mean, I haven't. I don't know what the. They're due in July. They roll them out between September and December, I believe. Oh, okay. Written. So, I mean, I mean, I will definitely, I think it's it's right and proper to have a meet with a new liaison. I would very much like, um, and I don't know how or what, I, I really, Dan has been to one meeting so far um, in, in his entire tenure with, with the, um, the town liaison, and I really feel you know I would like to see more participation from the town. Um, so I, and I would ask that that be minuted as well. Um, that, that you know we, we, we're flying blind, and yeah, obviously, if you want to get your application in, and, and um, but then again, they're 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 not questioning the budget. No, but by the same token, it would be helpful. If, I mean, this is the sort of thing. Yeah, what do you guys want? You know, the the, the liaisons should be sat here, and we say, so what do you want? What do you want? You know, what what do you expect of us? Well, what do you want? We haven't had any issues with the town uh, pushing back. Other than they're not giving us office space, so maybe we should ask them. Well, they space. don't have. They, they're, they don't they're, in have an cabins. For themselves, they're in porter cabins. They're in porter cabins. If the town hall was still standing, maybe there was an opportunity there. I mean, but the community centre could could that be used? Not really. Not practically. You know. I mean, if we had the entire building, great. <laughs> but no, <laughs> it's not going to happen. Well, I mean, then, then at that point, then it seems again they don't so they don't have the space. I mean, it seems to me the sticking point is that we we were kind of on this for quite some time uh, under the impression that we would have a dedicated space that we could use to move forward, and then we just got the rug seems to have been tugged. And that's not a town issue. Um, no, but really I mean, yeah, it's not a but town maybe issue. SUNY has a space, or maybe, I mean, maybe we, I mean, you want me to reach out to SUNY? I don't have any contacts there. That, I mean, I know well, no, no, I, under I, no I obligations. Wanna, I or suppose or I want to say to the board, still it, still there. like what's said, hmm. you know, it's like, but my, my impression is the town board is pretty happy with what we're doing, and they give us what we ask for, so we don't really need as much in terms of. No, uh, the they did, of they did say they were interested in streaming, but they haven't like right. come back to us and said well, it's not could you make this happen yeah, right exactly it, yeah everything works for them as far as right. the meetings going out <coughs> right they're happy with yeah that part they don't have an automated system what what it might be useful at this stage is you you say a revisit of the presentation that maybe we we rework the presentation with the with the this is what good looks like kind of thing. Like this this describes what happens um, and the, the benefits that are available 
and, and explores some of the costs or, or requirements to make it happen. Yeah? yeah. Um, so, so, I mean, it's going to be fairly long term for me to pull that together, but I'm, I, can, um, I can make a start on it. To make, to make sense of it, say, here's what a Rolls Royce looks like, and that's Denver. Here's what like a pretty well-funded, functional system that creates, you know, a situation where the government can be understood by normal pe human beings. Right. And that's maybe Socrates. Do they have metadata on their searches? I, uh, I, I don't know. I, don't think so. I, I know the people who did it. The Denver have actually got their own IT department, and are now taking this out to other people and offering it as a service and making money that way for their own. PA uh, TV well, organization. That's pretty cool. So, so they're doing that. So it, it's about. We might be able to do that too. Create this incredible thing and then double the revenue of the town by selling it to well, governments in South America. No, because <laughs> <laughs> this would not be going in the general fund. Any income to, to the not for profit doesn't go to the town or village's general fund. It's no, it doesn't. It goes to support. The, uh, the 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 nonprofit organization. Uh, I got three things. Um, three things. Three things. Number one, I'd like I can work with you on creating that report if you want to send me an outline, just bullet points. Sure. I can fill in the blanks. Okay. You know, I can do the research and fill in the numbers. Number two, we have numbers on subscribers and new faults. You said something about someone doubting whether anyone uses TVs anymore, but they're flying off the shelf at Best Buy. I'm going to research numbers, some sort of numbers on TV sales in the U.S. Mm. And okay. see, and just prove with numbers that people are still buying TVs. Mm -hmm. That seems like an important point to make in some of this stuff. Well, the economy yeah. is fantastic from what I've heard on the news. <laughs> so I bet you TVs, <laughs> For everyone. there can't be that much of a downside <laughs> in TV purchases because you know, consumer spending's everything. way up, business investments way down. Mm -hmm. Oh, could we conceivably, and this is just, you know, I just thought this thought you know, 10 seconds ago. Could our 5013C provide advice and empowerment to other local communities in the Hudson Valley yeah. to film their public act, film Ab their meetings absolutely. for a fee? Absolutely. All of this, I mean, this is one of the things that when we come to, to, to determine the articles of memorandum or whatever you want uh, for, for the organization, yeah, that can be one of the things you do to provide consultative services for, for other people. Um, to, to help them. To, and yeah, there's no reason at all why that can't be done commercially. You know, you're going to pay us to do this. And, you know, it, it could be you, you rent a... Just because it's public access doesn't mean that the facilities can't be used commercially. Yeah, You yeah. just can't put that on Channel 23. But there's nothing to stop. If you've got a beautiful studio and, you know, you've got people with voiceover talent and all that sort of stuff, you could produce something really nice for somebody and charge them for it. But I'm ben, you can also get sponsors. And stuff. sponsors, yeah, sponsorship too. Yeah. So I'm talking about, hey, Wallkill, hey, Gardner, we can help you to get your meetings, public meetings filmed for your community for a fee, and the fee would be part of what would support the 5013C. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be profit, because it would go back to the order. I'm just, you know, just a notion. Well, you know? And then we knew we could rent the studio space well, yeah, or you want to take to to bring their meetings online as well, um, to do that for them. That's a service you can do, assuming you have adequate equipment, adequate capability, and you know a means of actually taking. I mean, there's other municipalities like um, in Modena; they, they they don't even film their bloody meetings. You know, they well, Gardner doesn't either. Mm -hmm. See, I use those examples for a reason. Yeah, Gardner <laughs> Gardner actually hired. USI Video, the Democratic Party hired USI Video oh, to do politics, mate. To do s <laughs> several planning board um, videos. Yeah, I mean, it was basically, you know, could you video this, this because there was a hot, hot item going on. So, so we did that. We did like three or four of those. Interesting. So both of those towns have minimal. I, I, they're just not as. Yeah, that's, in terms that's of, the there's not as much riding on the decision was, making at those. Yeah, there's a lot of less desire to be transparent. <laughs> uh, there yeah, really is a lot of desire not to be transparent. I went to a Platico town meeting and it was 
interesting experience. It was a very different experience. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. Anyway, um, does does anybody have anything else? I mean, if if you want to take those on, that's great. And we I, again, I know you've said it, so we're just we're flogging a dead horse at this point. But yeah, please, we we'd love to have you here as part of this. Absolutely. And we'd also um, love if if you're so willing. Um, for you to serve on the board initially to get the 501c3 set up. Because we, you did. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. then we. Um, I will. Yeah. I will contact you individually, and we will go ahead and get that bloody registered because they yeah. said we can yeah. do that. So we've got the four now. All right. Perfect. I'll uh, expect an email from me over the next couple of days, and I'll 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 nail that together then, and we'll we'll go ahead and get that actually physically formed. Uh, let me get your pen one more time so I don't lose uh, lose item number three. Now, on a, as board members, do we don't we have to make a contribution to the board? I became a board member of a government. How do you, how do you make contribution? You know, like you have to pay fifty dollars. That's not a charitable foundation. No. Oh no, it's that's uh, I mean a charitable. Yeah, no, they said five hundred one c three. You said no. Don't expect to be paid. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's not going to happen. But don't You're expect to about? have to pay anything. Okay. I mean, it, it, there may be a registration cost, but it, it's going to be negligible. Mm -hmm. and, and because I'm that passionate about it, if I can rustle it together, I'll do it. And if I need to pass the hat around, I'll do that too. But um, what were you going to call it? Oh, wait, I have it right here. Like New Pulse Television, yeah. MPZ TV for the sure. Teachers. I've, I've, al perhaps. I've already registered mpztv.org as the main board. I sprung for that. I paid for that. So. If you want to okay. 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 Let's see. I'm also going to try and obtain mpz.tv if I can. But there you go. All right, that's cool. Anything so else? So I just want to remind you, I yes. think we had, you may have already done it, but I think when we went over your draft, we uh, brought up maybe expanding it to include. I did. You did, thank you. I did. Yeah, that was that was a few. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I, I took on board everything everybody fed back, and I, okay, I, okay. Uh, I okay. put it in there. But I mean, it's again, it's not set in stone. If you want to, if you want to look at that, again, does everybody have a copy of the? Uh, I don't know if I have the most recent one. All mm -hmm. right. If not, I'll, I'll, I'll. Why don't I mail that out to everybody tomorrow anyway? Can you do me a favor? I don't think. I think I wanted to see if you have it somewhere. The <coughs> presentation you made to the. Yeah, Those I do board. have it, yeah. Yeah, can you send me you want a copy? Yeah. As a PDF, it's quite, yeah, it's quite that'd be big, fine. yeah? that'd be great. All right. No, I don't mean the, I mean the one in, in February. The, the big thick Seven. one? Seven, not the one about live streaming. Which one? Then? Just when you made the presentation to the board about, you know, where we're at and going forward, February 7th. I have to look for I'll that. I'll send you I, an I, email. Okay, I, I'll, <laughs> I, I, I've got everything I'm somewhere. sure you have it. I, I'm going to so, send you an but, email. All right, so thanks. I, yeah, no, gladly. No problem at all. all. Right, um, so, are we adjourned? Okay. So, uh, we have to set up uh, next What's meeting. our next, next meeting? meeting will be, uh, August. bloody hell, just a moment. That will be, looks like August 5th. Yeah. Monday, August 5th. Any, pro any problems with that? Mm, no, no. It's hard to say right now because we're planning, uh, you know, my family's sort of doing the whole... World tour. Right. Excellent. We'll All right, so, well, unless unless anything goes for a ball of chalk, our next meeting it will be Monday, August 5th, large meeting room here at Village Hall. And if there's no other business, I move we close the meeting. Second. All in favour? We're done.